In this video, we're going to have a very quick introduction into FileMaker. Now, when you open FileMaker for the very first time, you're going to be greeted with this screen. Now, there's a lot of templates here, which we're going to ignore. We're going to go almost to the bottom, where there's this big blue folder symbol, and it says Create New. We're going to very quickly create a new file. In this case, I'm going to call it Library, and I'm going to save it. Make sure you save it in the correct place so that you don't lose it later. And now you should be looking at a screen that's very similar to mine, which says Manage Database for Library. Remember that our file is called Library. Over here we have Tables, Fields, and Relationships. For now, we're only going to look at Tables and Fields. Tables are what make databases databases. So we need to know which tables we need in our database, or if I was to use simpler English, which lists we are trying to save in our database. In this case, it's already made one called library, which we don't want. I'm going to change that to names, like so, and just press change. I'm going to go to fields, so I'm in the table that's called names, and now it's asking me, in this list or this table called names, what kind of information do you want to keep? So in this case, what I want is the person's library number. I'm going to change that to a number and press create. And you can see now I've got a library number. That's a number. I want the person's first name, which is going to be a text. And I want their surname. And of course, it's already text. So I'm going to press create. So what I've got is one, two, three, three fields or three pieces of information inside this table called names. Now, later on, we're going to come back here to make another table. For now, what I want to do is just take you through some of the buttons that are on the screen. In this case, you can see in the top left, it tells me how many records. In other words, how many people are in my library. At this moment, I've got zero. I can add a new record simply by clicking on the new record. And you can see I've automatically got one up there. Now we can fill in information very easily like this. So that's our first member of the library with a library number of 100001. And if we were to now add a second one, that's going to be our second and so on and so on and so on. Once you've entered a few names into your database, you can browse them by simply clicking on your arrows here. If you've got lots of records, you can scroll through them quickly like this. We can delete records simply by going to the record we want to delete, clicking on delete record and saying delete when it asks you to confirm. And we're back to one record here. Later on, we're going to talk about the sort and the find. But for now, I want to show you a few more buttons and then we're going to deal with the layout of our database. These three small buttons over here are really useful. I tend to use this one when I'm designing the database. That means how does it look, what colors, what fonts, and kind of the user friendliness that we want. But when I'm entering a lot of data, I want to click on this button over here. And what that does is it gives you an Excel view, if you like. So it's not very pretty to look at, but it's really fast to get going in this. We can click on the plus and start entering details immediately. And because it's this Excel table view, we can easily see the other records without having to click buttons or try to search for them. So we can now just enter names as you please and go on and on and build up our users for this library. When we've finished with the Excel view, I'm going to click back on this button so that I'm looking at the proper view. Again, I've got two records, which I can browse like this. But before we go any further, start entering names and building more tables, let's talk about how to edit the way this looks. I'm going to go to the right hand side where it says edit layout. Click on that button and you'll see that I have a floating inspector here. That's this button over here. That's the I. I can click over here where it says the A, which is our font bar, that's over there, and the rest we'll come to in a second. Now what I'm going to do is just move some stuff around, and you can see that FileMaker's really good with alignment, so as soon as I've aligned stuff, it will draw these lines to make sure I know that things are lining up with each other. 
like this. I can select whole sets of objects, move them around. I can select whole objects, go into this button that is the appearance. I can now mess around with the fonts so that I've got something a little bit nicer to look at. You can of course take your time and make sure that your database looks as good as it can. If we want to change colors of background elements, you simply go to the left where the name of the section is. So in this case, we're going to the header. We'll go up. We can say that its solid color is that. We can go to the body. You don't have to settle for a solid color because what we can do is add gradients in there. So we can, for example, so we can make our databases look as boring or as exciting as we want to. We can click on fields like this and change their colors as well. So there really is almost no limit as to what you can do in FileMaker to make your database look the way you want it to look. If, for example, we wanted to add some text at the top, just to make it easier to know what we're doing, we can even add titles in. We can resize elements on the go like this. So really your idea here is to make your layout look as good as you can for the person who is going to use it. Let's click that away. Now, of course, this isn't finished, but let's exit this layout. It will almost always ask you to confirm, do you want to save? I normally click on here and press save so it won't ask again. So rather than the boring black, white, gray one that we had, we've got this rather bright green and blue database that we've made. So we'll work on the look of our database later. Now, what happens if, for example, we want to add another field or another piece of information into our names? Well, what we're going to do is click on Edit Layout, and now we're going to go to this top gear symbol, the setting symbol, click on it, and go to Database. So I've clicked on Manage and Database. Now we're going to be brought back to that same window we had before, which was adding fields to our tables. So that means whenever we want to add a field or change a field or do something, we can always get back to our Manage Database so that we can add, subtract, change anything that we need to. Now in the next video, we'll talk about how to add another table and some more fields.